Hey, hello. All right, so I haven't filmed a video in a very long time. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna be very hard to film because I haven't sat down in front of a camera in a very long time. So as you can see from the title of this video, this is gonna be a get ready with me. I'm all dressed and I just need to do my makeup, my hair is done. This video is a story time. Now, I know you read the title and I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my makeup right now in front of me. But I know you read the title of this video. Um, also, I'm going to link down below all the products that I'm using today. It's going to be a get ready with me. I just put on a little moisturizer. Yeah, it's going to be a get ready with me. I am all ready to go out with friends later tonight. I'm dressing, as you can see, my hair is nice and cute. So I'm going to get right into it. Basically, um, this is a story about the time that I auditioned to be on Disney Channel. Now, take that with a grain of salt because I'm about to explain so basically, as you guys know, when I was younger, I already explained this in a different video, my mom liked to put me into a lot of things, a lot of different activities. Now, she didn't necessarily want to make me an actor, but like, let me just explain. We, you, you listen to the radio when you're driving and all that, you know? So I, I was in the car with my mom one day, and um, I, I'm sorry guys, I cannot do this without a mirror, like I'm big struggling right now. Okay, so if you see me looking down, I'm just looking into this mirror real quick. As you know, on radios there would be those little commercials, you know, the little um do you wanna do you wanna be the next Disney star? Hey kids, would you like to be on the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon? How cool would it be working with Beyonce or Drake? Look your best and you could be discovered. And you know I'd hear that often because when I'd be in the car my mom she only played radio. On the radio they would say that commercial now. There's one day where I don't know what happened with my mom and I because we can sense a scam from a mile away. And I was young at this time. I don't know, like maybe 12, maybe younger. I really, for whatever reason, this is a very blurry time in my life. I don't remember what age I was. My mom was obviously better at detecting scams than I was if I was that little. You know, we obviously knew that commercial was bullshit. But for whatever reason, we heard it and we were like, Let's give it a try. So we call this number. They still do this commercial too. They do because I heard it the other day and I was just like, bye. You know, they did that commercial and they put the number and I wrote it down. Cause she was like, write it down, write it down. She was driving. Basically what had happened was, you know, we took the number down. Excuse me. Sorry guys. I'm just looking for my products here. Like I'm just trying to get it together. We took the number down. We gave them a call, right? He said, hi, we're interested or something like that along those lines. Hi, we're interested auditioning what do we have to do what are the steps i don't know if it was because this was a while ago so bear with me oh my god that looks like a lot Ooh, ooh. i don't know if my scam my camera's about to scam me and make this look crazier than what it really looks like in person it's about to scam me trust me y'all bear with me here jesus anyways yeah it was one of those like we didn't, I don't remember if it was, oh, you know, thank you for calling. If you're interested, please go to this website and I'll sign your child up. Or, like, they called you back, gave the address. Whatever it was, we had to go to this address, right? Okay. So we go to this address. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, was it sketchy? What, 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 what? It was a hotel venue. It was like a little, like a little convention, you know. And um, I remember my mom got the address, so however, which way she did get it. And, um yeah we just got the address and we decided to drive to it um my makeup looks so orange on camera i'm like sick right now i'm disgusted i don't know are y'all gonna keep watching this video after this the way my makeup is looking sis so we go to this address you know fast forward to some days my mom gets some time off of work i believe or it was on the weekend i don't really remember when but we pulled up to this the hotel convention and the second you walked in, you know, there's like little flyers this way for the auditions, this way, this way, you know, and I, I was a shy kid. I've seen this before in different videos. So I was like very starstruck. I was like, oh my God, like, is my favorite celebrity gonna be there? Face, I was just so starstruck. I was like, I, I don't know, like maybe, maybe I have a secret talent that I just don't know about. Oh, face, I was like, I really, I want to emphasize I don't have acting background. I have never been to an acting class. I've never done a play at school. I've never auditioned for anything. So really, I don't know why I was going. I think my mom and I were just taking a chance and seeing if I just like was one of those people that just like have it in you and you just like do it once and you're just like, wow, like where did you learn that from? And you just do it. 
basically yeah we go and like i said i was shy so i was very nervous had a lot of anxiety going through me um my mom is very different than i am she's more outgoing out there so she's done plays and all that and she's been on like tv and stuff um in her country so like don't think my mom is like famous because she's not but anyways you know she's in theater and all that like she's into that stuff um and that's not why she went to do that with me she just genuinely saw that i wanted to and we decided let's just try and see what happens but like i said i had a lot of anxiety i was very nervous i didn't know what to expect i was just like i don't know you know we pulled up and basically they were just like there's like a table to check in right and you see all these kids and all these adults with their kids and like very serious looking people not very they were welcoming but not that welcoming if you know what i mean not like disney world welcoming but like very like i don't know very serious people um even the people checking in people were just very like Standoffish. I didn't like their vibe at all. I checked in with my mom and they were just like, okay, this is your number. Grab a seat. Here are the scripts. There's like three types of different scripts I remember. What I remember the first one being, oh my god. I was thinking about this earlier because I was like, I had to dig deep into my mind to think of what, like the details of this story. It was, one was a commercial for soap. I don't remember the brand. I think it was hand soap, kids hand soap. One was for a kid's snack. And the other one I think was a song. Hey, hello. I was like, I'm not about to sing because I was like, I just don't have it in me. Like, I'm not about to do this. Like, already auditioning in front of people I don't know. It was already nerve wracking. So I was like, I'm not about to sing and just butcher it and embarrass my mom in the process. So I didn't do the song. And I don't think I did the food commercial. I think we were just deciding between the food commercial and the soap. And I think I ended up going with the soap. And it was just very simple. Like, Thank God, you know what I mean? Like, you'd get the script, right? And then you'd walk into the convention area, and there were a bunch of seats, and people were just in rows, sitting down. It looked very legit. Like, I'm not even going to kid you. Like, I was like, oh, like, if I do good, like, like that's it? Like, do I just wake up, like, somebody with a chance? Um, 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 like, I was like, shoot, I'm about to wake up the next day and just be like, you're hired. <laughs> so, yeah, you walk in, whatever, and there was a bunch of rows. My mom and I sat down, and we just looked over this script. And I think... From what I remember, we ended up choosing to do the soap. So, you know, now I could probably have a little more energy and oomph to trying to do it right, but I just was so embarrassed. I was very shut down, very nervous. I remember being like, hey, are your hands dry and brittle or some sh sh something? Like, like even now I cringe just thinking about it, but it was something like that. Like, I had to look into the to whatever my audience. Be like, hey, oh, are your hands brittle and dry? I just... Like, my biggest issue that I was having is that I wouldn't remember the lines. Like, it was the nerves. It was definitely the nerves that were holding me back. And my mom was like, It's okay, like, focus. Like, it's not the eyes. It's the eyes. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta do it. It would be like, okay, roll number one. Can you guys please come up to your to your person? I don't remember what they said, but, like, your parent had to stay sitting down for this. Like, they could not come with you for any support, you know, or they just felt like it would mess you up or something. Which I'm like, I guess that makes sense, but okay. So, my mom is sitting down, and I'm like, it's my turn, and I'm like, you know, we waited maybe, like, 30 minutes until then and we practice i also want to mention before we even auditioned like physically they called up people's roles there was this one lady who like spoke in front of the whole group of people that day and there was a lot of people like i'm i'm talking like 50 plus so this is why i thought it was so legit it was not sketchy there was not a little creepy men like in a dark alley it was a hotel convention like it seemed so legit basically you know what i'm saying like there was a lady that came up to the front and was like, thank you all so much for bringing your kids today. We look forward to seeing their talent, seeing what they're all about, what they're capable of. You know, have fun. Just remember to have fun. Be yourself. You know, uh, this isn't, it's not that hard. Or I don't know, just like giving words of encouragement and encouragement. Yeah, so, you know, after hearing that, you know, I thought I'd be a little better and I was uh, not that much better. Like. I was sweating, palm sweaty, mom spaghetti, and it was my time to go, it was our role, it was time to go, and basically you just go up to, the kids were just lined up in a line, and then behind that was like a curtain, I believe, it was like a curtain, it was like those, like when you take the MCAS, you know, like that standard testing, where it's like, sometimes there's like weird, like homemade borders, 
I don't even know how to explain it, but like you'd have to stand in front of that and wait for your turn because on the other side of that wall was those judges or a talent agency. I don't know what they were. I can't tell you the correct terminology for it, but they're professionals. Basically, it was my turn, and when I kid you not, I went there and it was a blur for me. It was a blur. I don't know. I can't tell you to this day. I disassociated so badly that I can't remember to you if I did good or bad or if I said anything when I went there. But I'm sure that I said something because obviously the next person went after me. It was not good. Like, I can tell you that no shame in my game. I did not do good and that's fine. Like, some of us are not good at everything and that was not what I was good at at that time. I know I butchered it and that was that period. Like, there was nothing else to talk about. After that, what happened was, you know, we, we went home. Nothing, you know, they were just like, you know, if your child has been selected, you will get an email. Or, a, no, you will get a letter in the mail letting you know the following steps you're going to take. You know, and my mom didn't even see me audition, honestly, because I was behind that wall thing. So it was like, I don't know, it was like weird. The week happened normally. I went to school and I'm thinking... So, you know, I just went about my week as normal as could be. My mom was like, you know, just keep it cool, sis. You will be fine. If you're chosen, you're chosen. If it was meant for you, it was meant for you. If it wasn't, it wasn't, and we just move on. And I'm just thinking, like, sis, like, I'm just going to hope for a miracle here because the second I get chosen, that's it. I'm getting flewed out. It flewed period. out all, all instances, instances paid, paid for. Sunny with the chance. Off to the races. <laughs> like, period. <laughs> But yeah, the week goes by as normal as can be. I'm at school doing my regular life stuff, you know, living my regular person life. Yeah, I'm just booming and cooling and, you know, chilling out, going to school, like I said. And, you know, one day, it's like the end of the week, your girl gets a letter in the mail. Now, don't you get excited? You know, it said um, on the outside of the envelope, like, the casting agency or some shit like Hollywood stars or something so I was like oh my god like you know what this is this is where my life changes like this is the moment that this is my big break this is how I get my family out of this home in the toy mansion period I was only child at this time so I was like this is where my mother and I live happily ever after period I pay the bills for her that's it I pay the bills now I don't remember if it was my mom that opened the letter or if I did but we opened the letter what they had said was you know um, thank you for coming to the auditions. Your child did very well, you know, and I'm reading this and I'm like That's it. I'm a celebrity period. We would like to move to the forward steps with your child. Oh, I'm so sorry guys Along with the envelope. There's a big package next to it. Okay, so this is why I was so excited because I was like Oh, like that's it like this is my boarding flights like I'm getting flued out, all expenses paid for, literally, it's in the package. Like, it was like, please open the um, package that came with the letter to see, you know, the following steps or whatever. So, um, I'm booing and I open the package and I start skimming it because I'm just looking for my plane tickets at this point. Like, I don't care about anything else. I'm just like, when do I start? Where is my, what is my first day on set? What show am I on? It starts listing out agency names. Okay? So it's like... It was like this. It went like this from what I remember. It was like, your child did good here to be, to become the next blah, 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 like the radio says, right? It was like on some BS, like, yeah, you can um, come to us. We have three types of programs. We have a three-month one, two-month one, or one-month one. And the first one, the starting prices were like $12,000 and up. First of all, like, no, no. This is not how I get my big break. Like, how dare you, honestly? You know, and I was just like, Bruh. who are you trying to scam here? They were just like, basically, yeah, you know, your child is so good that we're going to send this universal package and see if your parent is head ass enough to pay for this. And then maybe you can become a celebrity. His family came across online ads and radio commercials for an audition. There are a number of companies offering this kind of service, all promising Hollywood dreams. Hey kids, would you like to be on the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon? How cool would it be working with Beyonce or Drake? Those are your best, and you should be discovered. Wow, that was way too close. Some ads say your kid could appear in Disney shows. 
shows like Dog with the Block. If they just audition, the pricey packages start at two grand and go all the way up to eight thousand dollars. Father Richie Cologne felt pressured to pay to get his son discovered. She told me that if I act now, they'll give me a discount for twenty five hundred dollars. But I only had to like five o'clock that afternoon. Mark Story Six checked with Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network. All say they're not in any way affiliated. Because basically, what the package was, and you know, as I grow older, maybe this package could have helped me potentially start in my starting an acting career but I, I just think realistically I don't know I don't have acting experience so if you have acting experience comment down below if this was legit or if you did something like this before where you heard the commercial on the radio and then actually went to do it comment down below and let me know if you did it and it actually worked and now you are on Disney Channel basically yeah they were just like you will be part of an agency or you will get to audition for an acting agency in Hollywood or you just gotta buy your plane tickets all this like it was a lot of BS you know and I don't know like they made it seem like you know your child is the one your child got it do you got it though you got the money in your bank account like, absolutely not absolutely I don't absolutely my mother does not like she's a mother of one you better chill out who are y'all trying to scam but yeah, that is what freaking happened with that audition process. Obviously, my mom was not about to pay $12,000 for this fake ass audition. My mother and I agreed. Like, I didn't even, it was something that I knew. Like, I knew once I saw those prices, I was like, cut. My mom and I were under the impression that, you know, if you're good enough, you'll get flued out. You're good at what you do, and you're so good, we're going to put you on this agency. We saw you this day yada yada no you know they're literally like if you want to continue this acting stuff you can start paying to a thousand dollars plus to maybe get your big break out there you know because we're going to be your reference and it's like where are your credentials shut up y'all scamming everyone shut up period inner corner neon color right here they're really cute i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mascara um and also you know i got a little little lip color to do too so the actual casting agents who say it's not procedure to take money up front i went off camera and i finished my makeup added a little lipstick and a little mascara so as you can see from that last clip like i said they were scamming your girl and i don't know if that was the actual company or marketing whatever the heck um that saw me that day but it was definitely the exact same concept and like i said you, you heard what they said three packages this like the scam it just wasn't legit you know and my mom was like get out of my face like this is a joke thank you so much for watching today's video this is the time that I auditioned for Disney Channel you know Disney Channel Nickelodeon whatever scam it was that I was auditioning for I auditioned for it as you can see it did not follow through I am not sending with the chance as I had big hopes that's it for today's video please show some love before you leave the video and don't forget to check out my other videos while you're here but thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye all right so i know my camera's like i'm so adjusting to her but i want to show you guys the look before i go out as you can see i did a little in a corner neon excuse my skin Lipstick, matte lipstick. Got some BH Cosmetics on the face today. So I just wanted to show you guys a look before I close on today's video. Bye!